You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, sponsored by Absolute Mortgage, a division of Pinnacle Capital Mortgage Corporation. Now in the studio, local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Good morning, Real Living Northwest Realtors. Tina Mitchell here with Mortgage Minutes. Oh, my gosh, it's been so long since I've talked with you guys. Um, it's great to have the first meeting for 2015. And I have to say that I'm really, I'm trying to reschedule uh, something because these meetings are, like, so important to me. And I want to stay on the entire meeting. Um, but I've got something that, that comes up at 1030 every week. So I'm, and especially now I'm bummed out here on all the new stuff that's going to be happening at the end of the meeting. Because, uh, Kiyoki, your inspiration and motive, I should say motivation, because really that's what it, it mostly is at the beginning of the meeting, is awesome. And I'm always... Um, uh, on the meeting and try not to miss that. So I'm going to miss the the end of the wrap-up meeting, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, so if you guys notice me drop off, I don't drop off because I don't want to be on the entire meeting because I really do. Um, I want to hear everything that's going on in um, in the office because I'm part of a team and family. So, um, but it's only because I just have a conflict that I can't hang out for the entire uh, the entire meeting. So I want to go into uh, the bond market here to give a, a visual. Um, you guys probably um, got a little bit of understanding what's happened with the mortgage interest rates. They've been awesome. Today was the first time that we've seen in, an, in a, a few days that we've actually had a drop in the bond market. Again, the bond market drops. That's bad for interest rates. The bond market increases in its trading price, good for interest rates. So you can see what the bond market is, has done uh, here for the last few days. Unbelievable in what the rates are doing. And now they're actually, we're anticipating that 2015 rates are going, mortgage rates are going to be um, a hot topic for the market. And anticipation is, is we're actually going to see um, them stay low. But you know what all experts have been saying, and 50% of the time we're all right, and 50% of the time we're not. So still there is this sense of urgency to take advantage of these rates while they're here, because who knows how long they're going to stay. Um, and then for today, I wanted to give some good news, like the new slide, Kiyoki, that Victoria put together. I love it. Mm-hmm. Love. Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Relief Act has been extended again. So December 16, 2014, President Obama signed uh, the bill to extend the Mortgage uh, Forgiveness Debt Relief Act, which went into play in 2007. So uh, really good news um, for people that did have uh, short sales foreclosures, uh, modifications on principal, on their principal balance. Anytime in the year 2014, um, reactive back in that mortgage debt that's been canceled. Now, NAR reported, which were interesting stats, about 5.3 million homes that are still underwater, and reported about a million homes that are currently in process for foreclosure. What does that mean? I, you know, I, I, I don't know, except for maybe it'll get extended again in uh, 2015 for debt forgiveness in 2000 and 2016 for debt forgiveness in 2015, but we'll have to wait uh, to see. So if this had not happened, so this is a great reason to get back with your, your clients because we're always looking for a reason to call people that we've worked with before, not only because they're our clients for life. I mean, that's what we, we promote and um, um, really want to do is to be there and appreciate the clients that have worked with us before. Also, um, at that same time, in asking if there's someone uh, that we can assist and help that they can introduce us to. And so a reason to get back with those people that you know in your database that had a foreclosure, a short sale, a uh, loan modification where they had principal that was, um, uh, that the bank had dropped principal on the mortgage that they actually have, this is a huge uh, news for them. Mortgage debt, let's use an example and say it was 400000 is what they owed on their mortgage loan. And the sales price that they sold the house for uh, was $300,000. i am you know, assuming a short sale uh, situation here. So the, the forgiven debt was one hundred grand. Now the banks are required to report 1099C to the IRS, which means that that is considered as ordinary income and is going to be taxed. So if your clients were in a 25% tax bracket in this example, 
the uh, tax consequence to them would be $25,000. So that's a lot of money. And I think sometimes I know that I do, and I think this with you guys, and you guys are, are uh, real estate experts, so I know that you know more than my clients do. But even with my real estate experts, when I share information with you, it's surprising that, I'll, that I think that you know something when you don't. Um, and just like for me, I don't know anything that's going on in, in your arena, so I have to remember that you guys have your plate filled with everything that you have on the real estate side. Um, and so sharing information with our clients that we think they may know, because this is you know, news that's out there, everybody you would think knows it. I would imagine that a lot of people do not know that this has taken place, and so again, it's an opportunity to bring some good news to them. Now, reason uh, for cancellation of debt where it would not be taxable, obviously, again, the Mortgage Debt Relief Act that came into play uh, in December 2007. Now that it's been extended, that is a reason. Uh, bankruptcy debts that are discharged, um, uh, mortgage debts that are discharged or not, debts that are discharged that are not taxable. So in bankruptcy, um, uh, that's a reason not to have to pay income on that forgiven debt. Insolvency, so total debt is more than the fair market value of the assets. So if they had um, mortgage debt of 400000 and they sold the property for three hundred, again, we're a negative of 100 and they had assets of 600000 and that's what the market showed that the value of that assets were, the liabilities were 700000 then that $100,000, now we have that insolvency to where they're not going to have to pay. So this is, re you know, if the Mortgage Debt Relief Act had not been extended. Uh, certain farm debts, uh, so maybe um, uh, Cheryl Frabel, maybe in, in your area this um, is, is good information if you didn't know this. The debt incurred directly to operation of a farm, that's the first requirement. Also more than half of their income for the last three years came from farming, so that's the second requirement, and the lender was uh, an agency that typically lends, um, it engages in lending, so all your, you know, your major lenders, so a seller financing thing would not, that would disqualify it from the requirements from farm debt. And then non-recourse loans uh, doesn't result in cancellation of the debt, but there may be some tax issues that they have to deal with there. Mortgage Forgiveness Debt Act relief are extended. What this means is the act is for two debt is under the act is for two million for a married couple, or one million for a single or married filing separately. Primary or second home. So for the investors out there, it is not um, uh, qualified under the act and still report forgiven debt even though they won't be paid taxes. So they're, they're going, they still have to report it, but they're just not um, going to pay the taxes on that. And if they did do a cash out refinance, uh, cash out may be protected under the Debt Relief Act as well if that cash was being utilized for improvements to improve the quality of the home. Uh, then it should fall within um, this relief. If not, if they were using it to pay off debt, then it's not going to uh, qualify within this extension. So again, a really great way to reach out to our clients. Um, if you have clients that the homeowners are underwater, it, you know, and thinking of selling, not that this is going to help them right now because we don't know what's going to happen. This is for in for a reenact for 2014. So it's but reaching out to homeowners that are underwater, loan modifications and principal reductions, short sales foreclosures that happened in 2014. So just a great way again to uh, to engage with our clients. So any questions that you guys have? So was it just extended for the year 2015? We send it for a re it's, it, it is for 2015 and anything that happened in 2014. Okay. So they're going to yeah. have the same problem potentially again at the end of the year. So the other could, could thing is if you have someone who needs to short sell, they need to try to get it done in 2015. Correct. That is correct. That sense of urgency is, is there. Now, again, who knows what's going to happen in um, 2016, but as of right now, it's an opportunity. Yeah. Excellent. You know, Tina, that slide that you had, maybe you could forward the first slide 
that we could put on our Facebook if you felt comfortable with that. Of course. And just say, you know, that would be a very cool thing to put on our Facebook and say if you've been thinking of short selling, it's the time. <laughs> I don't know. But actually, would you have Victoria send that to Natalia and then she can put that on her Facebook? Okay, perfect. Thank that you. Sounds, uh, that sounds great. You're welcome. All right. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. And as always, um, I appreciate the uh, introductions to your clients. So thank you very much. And I'm very, very excited for 2015 uh, for all of us. So uh, please let me know what you need, what you want to hear about during Mortgage Minutes um, so I can accommodate personally and tailor it to, uh, to you guys.